Number 10. Electric Eel these creatures grow between 6 to 8 feet long and are typically distributed across northern South America. Despite the fact that they live in the ocean, they are air breathers. They can be solitary or they can hunt in packs. Electric eels are infamous for being able to generate electric currents. They have three pairs of abdominal organs that generate electricity. These organs make up four-fifths of their body and give electric eels the ability to generate two types of electric organs discharges low voltage and high voltage these voltages are used for hunting or for warding off predators human encounters with electric eels aren't uncommon on May 24, 2016, in an incident caught on camera, a fisherman in Brazil visited a muddy pool with his friends to hunt for electric eels. To his shock, the large creature jumped out of the pool and landed on his chest before it was able to discharge an 860-volt shock that would stop his heart. He shook it off, and then his friend killed the eel with a knife. The fisherman lived to tell the tale of this strange ambush. Number 9. Flower Urchin The flower urchin is the most commonly encountered species of urchin in the ocean. It can typically be found in coral reefs, seagrass beds, and rocky or sandy environments at depths of up to 295 feet. Even though it typically feeds on small organisms like algae, bryozoans, and organic detrius, it is capable of delivering extremely painful and extremely dangerous stings. Its venom has several components and can cause symptoms like fever, blurry vision, weakness, slowed breathing, and death. Flower urchins have been known to claim the lives of some humans. A 54-year-old father by the name of Chris Wilson died after stepping on a flower urchin off the coast of the East African island of Zanzibar. He had been kayaking at the time, and the sting happened so stealthily that he wasn't even aware. He began to feel horrible as time went on, and when he reached his hotel room, he complained of being in pain. His wife gave him some painkillers and went out to read. When she came back, he was dead. Number 8. Cone Snail Cone snails are a group of predatory snails that can be found in warm or tropical oceans and seas worldwide. They live in or near coral reefs. They use a radula tooth as a harpoon-like structure for predation. This barbed structure injects venom, known as conotoxins, into victims. These conotoxins are quite potent and can cause symptoms like paralysis, blurry vision, and respiratory failure, leading up to death. On June 9, 2015, a tourism guide was stung by a cone snail off the coast of Whitsunday Island, Australia. The 25-year-old was walking barefoot in shallow water near the beach when the cone snail's harpoon pierced his skin. His respiratory system began to shut down, and he had only a few moments to live without intervention. Due to the heroic actions of bystanders, he managed to be airlifted out to a hospital. Although he was in severe pain, the doctors managed to save his life. Number 7. Blue Ringed Octopus Despite the small size of this creature, it carries enough venom to kill 26 adult humans. The venom can result in nausea, respiratory arrest, heart failure, severe, and sometimes total paralysis, blindness, and can lead to death within minutes if not treated. On December 9, 2018, a 28-year-old fisherman was bitten by a blue-ringed octopus. The incident happened off the coast of Western Australia. He had been pulling up a crayfish pot when the octopus whacked him. He did not have his boots on and was completely vulnerable. With only six minutes to live, the panic kicked in. However, lucky for him, there were some Navy paramedics on the scene who gave him first aid. He was eventually transferred to a hospital where he was given further treatment. Number 6. Box Jellyfish Stings from these species are extremely painful and can lead to death. They can grow up to 8 inches in length, have tentacles up to 10 feet long, and can weigh up to 5 pounds. They typically hunt small fish and can move as fast as 5 miles per hour when hunting. 
A woman by the name of Lisa Schroeder was stung by a box jellyfish in Townsville, Australia on April 11, 2021. She was paddle boarding with her family when she was stung on the top half of her right leg. The sting made her feel excruciating pain and she wanted to throw up. Her husband, present at the site, poured vinegar on the wound. She tried to drive home herself, but the pain got so bad that she stopped in the middle of the road. And so, a bystander called an ambulance that arrived to give her further treatment. Number 5. Stingrays Stingrays have had a bad rep ever since they took the life of Steve Irwin, one of the most beloved wildlife experts in history. These creatures are cartilaginous fishes that are related to sharks. They can typically be found in tropical and subtropical waters around the world. What makes them dangerous is their venom, which they deliver through the stinger for which they are named. This venom is relatively understudied, but has been known to cause death in humans. The most infamous stingray attack happened on September 4, 2006. Steve Irwin had been filming a show in the Great Barrier Reef off the coast of Queensland, Australia with a small team. While handling a stingray, the animal went berserk and punctured his chest with its stinger. The venom probably would have been enough to take him out, but the stinger also pierced his thoracic wall, causing massive damage. It went through his chest like hot butter, stabbing him several times within a few seconds. While on the way to the hospital, he died. Number 4. Sea Snakes Sea snakes aren't just land snakes that live in the sea. Rather, they are a little anatomically and physiologically different from their land counterparts. For one, they are flatter along the lateral plane, allowing them to swim better. They also have paddle-like tails and happen to grow between 4 to 5 feet in length. The largest species have been known to reach lengths of up to 10 feet. They are mostly confined to the warm tropical waters of the Indian Ocean and the Western Pacific Ocean. Like some of their land counterparts, sea snakes are very venomous. Their bites are typically painless, and the effects may not be felt for several hours. A fisherman in Ahmedabad, India was a victim of a sea snake bite. This happened on December 12, 2021. He had been retrieving fish nets far from the coast at the time. Left to his own devices, he would have died. But fortunately for him, there was a Coast Guard boat nearby. First aid was provided on board the boat, after which he was taken to a hospital for further treatment. Number 3. Pufferfish Unlike most other creatures on this list, pufferfish are not venomous. Instead, they are poisonous. This means that they have no way of getting their toxin into their victims unless their victims eat them. Interestingly, pufferfish are considered a delicacy in certain parts of the world like Japan. When prepared wrong, they have been known to cause symptoms like numbness, swelling, dizziness, vomiting, rapid heart rate, decreased blood pressure, and muscle paralysis. If treatment is not given quickly, death will occur. Three people died and four were hospitalized after eating pufferfish in a small town in the Philippines on December 29, 2020. One of the victims was a food stand vendor and he offered a free tasting of his pufferfish meal to customers. The undercooked pieces happened to include the liver of the creature. Moments after eating, the victims all started to vomit. Then, they started to lose consciousness. After being rushed to the hospital, only four of them survived. Number 2. Great White Shark The Great White Shark can grow up to 16 feet long and can weigh up to 5,000 pounds. It can detect prey from long distances and has several rows of large teeth to crush and tear prey to pieces. It also has special adaptations such as counter shading that allow it to remain undetected when approaching prey. Although sharks are known to be dangerous, Shark tourism is quite popular. Divers usually descend in cages to observe these creatures and swim among them. This kind of activity has been known to go awry before. On January 25, 2022, two divers descended into the shark-filled waters of Guadalupe Island in Mexico to observe these creatures through a cage. Soon enough, an 11-foot-long shark approached them. 
The shark, seeking a meal, charged at the divers and managed to get its head through the bars. Luckily for the divers, the shark got stuck and could not proceed beyond a certain point. The shark eventually died after getting stuck and the divers were able to get away. Number 1. Killer Whale Killer whales are also known as orcas. In spite of their name, they are not whales, but are rather dolphins. They are also apex predators and are fantastic at tracking down and killing their prey. Other than minor conflicts with great white sharks, there are a few creatures that can give them any trouble. They can grow up to 26 feet long and can weigh up to 8,000 pounds. Even though some orcas are kept in captivity, they never lose their aggressive nature. A 40-year-old SeaWorld trainer by the name of Don Branschow was killed by a 12,000-pound, 20-foot orca known as Tilikum. In a prolonged attack that happened in February 2010, the creature dragged the trainer to the bottom of the pool and completely mauled her. It severed her spinal cord and then crushed her ribs and jaws. Would you rather step on a pufferfish or have to swim away from a great white shark?